Schilling's infamous bloody sock is going up on the auction block. And tonight we are hearing from the Red Sox front office about this major sports sale. The sock going up for sale was worn by Schilling in game two of the 2004 World Series. And last October, we told you it had reportedly been listed as collateral by Schilling on personal loans for 38 studios. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Estefan has the details new at 11 with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. So how much is a bloody sock worth? Well, if you're Kurt Schilling, it's anticipated it will sell for a lot of money. And we wanted to find out where that money will go. This game is forever ingrained in the memories of Red Sox Nation. And this sock played a big part. When you see a, a video or you see that, that sock shown, I think it brings a lot of thoughts to mind for a, a many, many people in this region. We spoke with Red Sox manager John Farrell at a Red Sox town hall meeting in Providence just minutes after news broke that Kurt Schilling would be auctioning off one of two bloody socks that have become part of Red Sox nostalgia. This one from the 2004 World Series. Schilling put the sock up as collateral for a bank loan when he opened 38 studios. After a spectacular failure, auctioneers believe the sock could fetch more than 100 thousand dollars. I think you know and I think it symbolizes uh, you know one heck of a gutsy performance by a great pitcher and a, certainly a tremendous postseason pitcher. Uh, Kurt has had a one heck of a career. A career that has been overshadowed as of late by the collapse of the video gaming company, ultimately at a cost of more than 75 million to the state of Rhode Island. The sock was not part of the state's loan, so any profits made will not help out Rhode Island's debt. Kurt Schilling spoke with the Boston Herald about the sock auction this afternoon. He told them, quote, I made commitments and signed documents to take responsibility for loans should the company fail, and it did. So I owe money. That is what I'm trying to pay back. By the way, that auction, the online auction, will begin February 4th. In Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.